Greetings fellow Africans, Africans in the diaspora and the Africans in the continent. Uh, my name is Geoffrey Moses of Bachuba Online TV. I'm very honored to welcome you at this moment uh, to have a conversation with you about our mother continent, Africa. Today I want to share with you how we as Africans, especially uh, who are in the continent, uh, with, uh, with those who are in the diaspora, we can make Africa work and we can make Africa great. Uh, today I want to speak with, uh, with one uh, a part of education. You know what I discover and I realize that uh, Africa, we are the producer of, uh, the producer of knowledge that has been used by the world. Uh, remember those technologies that has been uh, invited in US or uh, created in Europe, uh, those technologies that has been uh, created by Africans. If you go around the global, if you go in America, America was built by Africans. Europe is built by Africans, Africans who have been taken into the slave. Even today, fellow Africans, this is what we call scholarship is the one or is the, is the way which the Europeans and the uh, Asians and Western countries use to, to extract our knowledge. When someone in Africa is so blight, he got a scholarship to Europe. After that, he, he, find, he, he go to uh, Europe University or American University or Asian University. After that, after completing his uh, course or his study, he or she will not come back to Africa. He remained there in, uh, in Western countries or in Asia. He worked there. He make sure that they make sure that they invest his knowledge or her knowledge in your blood. For instance, look at the, the country such as Nigeria. The Nigeria has doctors outside of the of the continent more than the doctors in the countries or our country of Nigeria. The doctors who are in outside of Nigeria are so many compared with the uh, doctors who are in Nigeria. So fellow Africans, if we decide maybe to keep our knowledge here in Africa, instead of exporting our knowledge, you know, as I said, that we export knowledge through what we call scholarship. When someone is so bright, when someone is so creative, automatically, he or she will get scholarship to go to study in Harvard University or Oxford University or somewhere in China. But we as Africans, we didn't realize that uh, those who are so bright when you go there, these uh, white people, they will make sure that these people will not go back to Africa and distribute those knowledge. We have seen many good engineers are not in Africa, but are Africans. Many mathematicians are not, who are in Africans are not in Africa. When they got maybe his degrees, his or her degrees, uh, masters, PhD, and so on, they, they remain there in Europe or in America or in Asia, and they work there. And these capitalists and these Western countries and the uh, Asian countries, they make sure that uh, these good people will never come back to Africa because they know that this is their uh, good knowledge. If this knowledge go back to Africa, it means Africa will change. Uh, so I want to share to you and show you the, the, this picture uh, to uh, to, to realize that Africa, we are so uh, we are so creative. Look at this picture. These are young Africans who have been creating uh, these uh, drones. 
this can be uh, controlled by remote control. These are Africans. You know that sometimes, uh, maybe if you see these uh, young people, young African innovators like this, but the problem that we have in Africa, we are not going to de develop them. And we are waiting maybe to, to find the scholarship to go to Europe or to go to, to America. But Americans, Asians, Europeans will use them to create uh, these fighter or jet fighter for their countries. So this is the evidence that Africa, we are so great. This is the young Africans who have been creating this. Also we have this picture. This is a, also a creativity and innovation of young Africans. If you go in the village, apart, forget about uh, people who are living in town, maybe they know more, but this is a picture that shows that these young Africans are living in, in the village, are so creative. What we are supposed to do, we, we Africans who are in the continent uh, with the collaboration with those who are in diaspora, is to make sure that we can help uh, these young Africa or this young generation to make sure that they achieve their goals and their dreams. Also we have this one. All these are evidence to show you that Africans, we are so creative. Everything you see in this world, as African who are participated to make things happen, you know? Look at this picture. These are young, these are our children, African children. All these three pictures is evidence that Africa, we need now to use our knowledge to invest in education. Forget about uh, this education has been funded by outsiders. And this is what uh, these people or Western people use this loop to take this uh, kind of creativity. They come up in Africa, they search some people or some maybe angels, they use the angels to make sure that they will find the bright African children, bright Af young Africans. After they discovered and find, found them, they will take them to their universities. They extract their knowledge, they make sure that these young Africans will never go back to their home countries because they know if Africa we have doctors assume and all doctors who are in Nigeria are coming back in Nigeria it means uh, the health sector of Nigeria will be improved some engineers who are outside of the continent who are in the diaspora if they will come back in Africa there's no need for Chinese to construct our road there's no need for uh, Western companies to come Africa and extract our minerals. We as Africans, we, we, we have already acquired knowledge, we extract our minerals, we will uh, do everything that we want to do here in the continent. But because they realize, these Western people and Asian people, they realize that the only way to make sure that Africa is defeated is to make sure that they provide a scholarship then they provide the way Africans, creative Africans, to move out of the continent and they extract their knowledge. So I'm very happy now I have seen uh, Dr. Rikana Chomboy as creating the platform where the, those who have knowledge, engineers, doctors can register uh, into the ADDI, our ADDI.org, where those who are in diaspora who have any knowledge can register and can find opportunities here in Africa. And that is a good move. We need the, the idea like that. We need to invest here in Africa. We need to change our curriculum, our way of teaching our children. Already we have creative young Africans. What we need is to support them, and to use those who have 
go to school. You know, these children, they don't have PhD. If you look at this one, they don't have PhD. They have idea. Even this one, they, they didn't acquire maybe even a secondary school or diplomas. They don't have a diplomas, but look at what they, 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 they do. I'm sure even this one, they, they are not the professors. Oh, they are not. They didn't acquire a PhD, but they are so creative. So what we need is to build a strong foundations to to help these African dreams. To make sure that Africa, we can invest in education. We can invest our knowledge here in Africa instead of waiting Western people to invest this knowledge for their benefit. We are talking about Africa, we don't, we, we don't have uh, maybe no country that creates a jet fighter. But look at these young boys and girls who have created this. Already we have jet fighter in Africa, but how to implement that is the problem. And we have talking for too long how, uh, how to unite, how maybe to make things happen, but these young people are making things happen. Those who are in the power must ask themselves what they, they have done to support young Africans or what they have done to innovate in Africa. Instead of using a lot of money to buy jet fighters, uh, maybe in America or Europe or Asia or in China, in somewhere else, uh, what they have done in, term, in, in, in the medical sector, instead of uh, maybe buying medicine or drugs outside of the continent. Why here in Africa we can do the same thing. So fellow Africans, uh, I will not speak for too long, but uh, what I, I, I have decided to share with you is we as Africans, we need to come uh, into a single table and decide how we can develop uh, these uh, creativity that has been found in our mother continent. Let us stop sending our children outside of the continent because we lost. Let us think how we can develop here in, here in the continent. I know Africa we have already divided and we didn't meet. Uh, for instance, some countries are speaking different languages uh, so we cannot maybe uh, understand each other. But I'm sure these young people are making Africa uniting. Forget about the politicians, what they have done, and we respect what they have done. But we young Africans, I know maybe one time they will be the African leader. Let us tell them that Africa, to realize their potential, is Africa to unite. All these are not implemented because we didn't unite. Africa, we are wasting a lot of time in fighting. We are wasting a lot of time in complaining. Let us stop lamentation. Let us stop complaining. Let us go into action. We need now to go into action, to implement what we have, to innovate. If we innovate here in Africa, I'm sure Africa will be the first continent in terms of Earth, in terms of everything, because Africa is a source of humanity. If you are talking about the hidden, you are talking about Africa. So, fellow Africans, I have talking for too long. Uh, let us make you a rest for today. Please, maybe you have something to add for, from what I'm talking. Please add in the comment section. Our aim is to make Africa work and make Africa great. We need, maybe during our lifetime, maybe the generation to come, Africa to unite, Africa to have peace, Africa to have what we have and what we deserve. Thank you. Mm -hmm.